I'll get back to you with my penalty later, Abigail. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, I'll just remove it. That's just. Yeah, my my sign became the staple, not yours. I hate to break it to you. It's just a sign. That tells me I'm winning. I see it. The number two and then one. I learned that in kindergarten. That number two is more this? than one. You see three. This? Oh my God, it's three. Come back into making, baby. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. Before we get started, Arjun, I'm going to tell you your penalty for when I go three and one in the quiz. You're going to have to have some mint ice cream mixed with orange juice. I said this last episode and I'm going to say it again. This isn't even a sports show anymore. This is like, this is just like just torture. I'll get back to you later with my penalty, Abigail. But for now, let's take a closer look at the NFL on our new segment, Deep Dive. That's not working, Jamie. This is not working. For those who don't know, a deep dive is when we take a close look at a topic in sports. And this month, we're taking a deep dive into the NFL. Okay, Arjun, do you want the good news or the bad news first? Uh, let's get the bad news out of the way. COVID-19 had a huge impact on the NFL this month. Numerous teams had their games postponed due to newfound cases. The Steelers and Ravens schedule went totally berserk, and one game was played that maybe should have been postponed. The Denver Broncos' entire quarterback squad had to isolate due to the fact that there was COVID-19 exposure. This led to the practice squad wide receiver having to play quarterback for the entire game. I can't even use words to describe what went on exactly, but I think this highlight pretty much sums it up perfectly. And in lighter news, the Pittsburgh Steelers are having an amazing season and wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster is clearly enjoying it. Check out these TikTok dances he's been doing on other teams' logos. All right, that's it for Deep Dive. Let's check out our Can Sports calendar and look back at some of the few important dates during the month of November. November 18th, the NBA offseason officially began with the NBA draft, followed by the free agency process. It was also then when the Raptors found out they would be playing away from home, specifically in Tampa Bay due to COVID-19 restrictions. I got the chance to speak with Raptors president Masai Ujiri on how he'll feel this will have an impact on Raptor fans across Canada. Uh, we're here, we're on TV. You gotta see us, we're not going anywhere, you know, like we're right here with you guys. Uh, and we'll be back, we'll be back soon enough. We're, we're, we're going to give it our all, we're going to play our, um, uh, we're going to try and play our best. Uh, we remember this, we talk about this every day, you know, like about our fans, uh, about the following, about the youth. Uh, so uh, we'll be back soon enough. Be sure to check out cbckidsnews.ca for my upcoming article on the Raptors 2021 season and my talk with Masai Ujiri. November 24th, all players and staff at Hockey Canada's World Junior Selection Camp had to quarantine due to two positive player tests. I had a chance to speak with Dawson Mercer while he was quarantined. Here's part of that conversation. In quarantine, obviously, uh, there's a little bit different of a circumstance than your usual off-season training, but Right now, like Hockey Canada has been doing an amazing job of providing us with equipment that we can use. For me, I wanted to, uh, I, I got my stick, to, one of my sticks just to have so I can, you know, have a stick handle, you know, fool around with it just to keep the rhythm. Uh, I think it's important just to stay on top of those little details that are, you know, going to really add up in the end of the day when the quarantine is over to make you feel as fresh as you can when you get back on the ice. Be sure to keep an eye out on CBC Kids News for my article on the World Juniors and an extended interview with Dawson Mercer. Obviously, there are a ton more important dates we could talk about, but we need to get into our monthly quiz. Arjun, what do you got for me? Abigail, I liked your penalty so much that I'm going to give it right back to you. That's right. When you lose this quiz, you're going to have to eat some ice cream and orange juice. That is so unoriginal, Arjun, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to win. Halo. 
in it. Christine Sinclair. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Argos? Toronto Argos? That sign is my life now. I take it back. I like that sign. Weren't you the one saying just no, I didn't say how nothing pointless I, it I, was? I, it was such a pointless sign. It shouldn't be included. I didn't say it shouldn't be included. I said I don't I didn't really care because it was two one, but I was two two. I care. I like that. Oh, sign. you care now? Yeah, I do. It tastes like a creamsicle. Damn it! It tastes like a creamsicle! Our first week's winner in November saw Tom Barlow using his head to finish off a nice team goal. Next up, you voted for the Arizona Cardinals' incredible Hail Mary winning touchdown. Week 3's winner was CeeDee Lamb's contortionist impersonation with his touchdown catch. And last but not least, Rose Lavelle's perfect strike was our Week 4 winner. And now, for our highlight of the month. Rose Lavelle's perfect strike to the top corner for Team USA was your highlight of the month winner. Arjun, that was delicious. Thank you. Uh, I'm not even mad, Abigail. One of your penalties was disgusting. The other was really good. One of my penalties was disgusting. The other one was really good. So I think we're all fair and square here. Yeah, I guess you could say it's a 2-2 tie in more than one way. Well, that's it for our show. I'm Abigail Dove. And I'm Arjun Ram. And this is KN Sports with Abigail and Arjun. See you later.